What's up guys? So in this question, we're going to be identifying whether certain scenarios are sources or uses of cash. But before we get into that, I want to give you a brief overview or a mini lecture on how each of these work before we get into the specifics of the question. And when you're talking about sources and uses of cash, you're basically going to be looking at the balance sheet accounts. So that's why I put asset liabilities and equity here. And depending on how the assets, liabilities, and equities change, whether they increase or decrease, that's going to tell you whether something's a source or a use of cash. So let's start off with sources of cash and let's start off with the asset accounts. Well, when assets go down, that is a source of cash for a company. And the reason why is when assets go down, Usually what's happening is you are selling assets. And when you sell assets, you are receiving cash. Hence, it is a source of cash. Liabilities. When liabilities go up, that is a source of cash for a company. Because when liabilities are going up, your debt is going up. It means that you are borrowing. cash or borrowing money, meaning that you are getting money, so it is a source of cash. And then equity, when equity goes up, what's happening is you are issuing more shares, so you're issuing equity and receiving cash. So you're going into the market and you are issuing shares and then the shareholders are giving you their cash. Hence, when equity goes up, that is a source of cash. And then in contrast, uses of cash are just basically the opposite of what happens to the three accounts and sources of cash. So for assets, when assets go up, that is a source of cash because when assets go up, what's happening is you are buying assets and you assume that you are buying assets for cash hence you are spending cash hence when assets go up that is a use of cash and notice how that's the opposite for when assets go down for when it's a source of cash liabilities when liabilities go down that is a use of cash because you are paying back um, debt holders. Or you're paying back your liabilities. Hence, when liabilities are going down, you are using cash to do that. Hence, it is a use of cash. And then the equity portion, when equity goes down, what's happening is you are perhaps repurchasing shares. And another way to look at repurchasing shares is you're just basically paying back shareholders. And when you're paying back shareholders, you're doing so in cash. So when your equity is going down, that is a use of cash. And that's pretty much it. These are the six scenarios you'll always run into. So whenever you receive a specific scenario, you just got to check, is it an asset liability or an equity account? Is it going up or down? And then you can tell whether it is a source or a use of cash. So let's go over some specific scenarios that we were given in the actual question now. So let's start off with A, an increase in inventory. Well, inventory, as you know, it's an asset account. And when an asset is increasing, that is this scenario right here. So it is a use of cash. And more specifically, an increase in inventory means that you are buying more inventory. Hence, you are using cash. So this is a use of cash, that scenario. Now, what about part B, a decrease in accounts receivable? Well, accounts receivable, as we know, that's an asset account. And if it is decreasing, that would be this option right here. When the asset is decreasing, 
and that is a source of cash. Now over here in brackets, I have selling assets and accounts receivable is a bit of a weird one because it's not really like a tangible asset that you're selling, though it is possible to be selling an accounts receivable. So usually a decrease in accounts receivable means that the people who owe you money are paying you back. Hence, it is a source of cash. But over here, I have selling assets. It is also possible to take an accounts receivable and sell it to another company. And then the people who owe you money, they don't owe you money anymore. They owe that other company money and that company bought that accounts receivable off of you. Hence, you got cash. So a decrease in accounts receivable, one of two scenarios. Either people are paying you back, hence it's a source of cash, or you're selling that accounts receivable to another company and that company is paying you cash, hence another source of cash. So either scenario, this is a source of cash. Next scenario, a decrease in accounts payable. Well, accounts payable, that is a liability account. And if it is decreasing, that's this scenario right here. So that means you are paying back debt holders or you're paying back loans. And that makes sense. Accounts payable is money that you owe. So if that account is decreasing, that means you are paying back the money that you borrowed. Hence, that is a use of cash. You are spending cash to do that. An increase in notes payable, notes payable similar to accounts payable, that's another liability account. And if that is increasing, that means that you are borrowing money, hence that's a source of cash from you. You are receiving cash, so this is a source. This scenario, a common stock increase, that means your equity account is going up meaning that you are receiving money from shareholders. That's this option right here. So that is a source of cash. Another way this could be worded is issuing equity or issuing shares. That is the same thing as your common stock increasing all represent sources of cash. Now, a lot of times they will give you multiple scenarios in one question and they'll also give you specific dollar amounts. So for example, here we have an increase in inventory of $220 and we have an increase in accounts payable of $100. Okay, so now this increase in inventory, that is the increase of an asset. So that is a use of cash. That's that option right there. And then an increase in accounts payable of $100, that is an increase of a liability account. Hence, that is a source. So to net these out, a use of cash of $220, that is a negative cash flow to the company. So that is negative $220. And then a source of $100, that's a positive cash flow to the company. So that would be positive 100. And then when you net these out, negative 220 plus 100 gives you negative 120. So when you net these two scenarios out, you get a net uh, use of cash of 120. So this is a net use. So you use more cash than you got. And then moving on to part G, final question. So we have two scenarios we're combining into one question. We have a notes payable decrease of $150 and accounts receivable increase of $70. Well, a notes payable decrease, that is a liability and it's going down, hence this is a use of cash. And then accounts receivable increase, that is this option here. An asset account, accounts receivable, is going up. Hence, this is a use of cash as well. Whenever accounts receivable are increasing, it's sort of um, weird to make sense of in your head. Basically, there's two ways to look at it. The first way that I prefer to look at it is that we are 
or we as the company are buying accounts receivable from another company. We are buying this asset, hence we have to pay cash to do so. So that's a use of cash. I think that's the easier way to look at it. Another way to look at it, if accounts receivable is increasing when you're selling something, usually you're receiving cash for it. But because uh, when you're selling something, accounts receivable is increasing as well, you're not receiving cash, someone is going to pay you cash in the future. So someone owes you money, hence you didn't receive that money right away. So it's like an indirect use of cash because you're not receiving cash for what you're selling, if that makes sense. In my opinion, it's just easier to think of the first scenario that you are buying accounts receivable from another company, hence you are using cash to do so. Okay, so what would the net of all this be? Well, a use of 150, that would be a negative cash flow to us, the company. So negative 150 and then a use of 70 is negative 70. And then when you add these up, you end up getting negative 220. So overall, it is a $220 net use of cash when you net these two scenarios out. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.